Presidential candidate Lenny Robredo remains hopeful and unperturbed, despite remaining in far second place in major surveys to frontrunner, the late dictator's son, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. When asked about her poor showings in the polls while campaigning in Cavite on Friday, March 4, Robredo says it does not discourage her at all. Roberta believes these numbers do not yet capture what she describes as the fervor of her passionate supporters on the ground. Not at all, not at all. Kami lahat, nina Senator Kiko, ramdam na ramdam namin na ibang-iba ito noong 2016. Walang ganitong fervor uh, uh, sa tao. Ngayon, hindi mahirap mag-ipo ng tao. In fact, mas hirap kami ngayon mag-limit ng tao because of the protocols. Some 2.13 million votes are up for grabs in this province where Marcos had edged Roberto out in the 2016 vice presidential race by over 152,000 votes. Cavite is also the bailiwick of another presidential bet, Senator Panfilo Lacson. Roberto says her optimism stems from her experience in 2016, where she emerged victorious against Marcos Jr. despite starting out with single-digit voter preference and awareness ratings. Coming from 2016, nag number, nag number three ako ng 2016, uh, late March na. Number three pa lang ako. Nag number two ako, uh, third week of April na. So ano talaga to? Uh, down to the finish line talaga yung laban. And mas lalo tayong nai-inspire kasi nararamdaman natin yung energy talaga on the ground. Marcos still maintains his lead in the latest Pulse Asia survey conducted in January 19 to 24 outstripping his rivals with 60%, an increase of 7 points from December 2021.